Kim Sung Min. Min. We'll see him in the final. Mm -hmm. Against Silver. Will we get some action? You should get it with Kim. He's not a bad, Definitely not a bad guy. So I think the question the Japanese Judo Federation wants to answer is who can beat Teddy Rinner in future? Which Japanese is strong enough? Well, we've been asking that question for quite a while. <laughs> for sure. Kavikama Daiki. Kavikama Daiki is the only one who's beaten Teddy Rinner since Beijing. I think, if I'm not mistaken, who was it that beat him? Was it Munita that Rinner lost to? Munita. Munita was the last of the Japanese to beat Rinair before 2008. So, so after, after Beijing, the only person to have beaten Rinair was Kamikawa Daiki. But before that, the last time that he'd lost to a Japanese was Munita. Mm -hmm. That was in Hamburg. Long time ago. Used to be called a Super World Cup. That was in the lead up to Beijing. <coughs> and those are the only two Japanese that Rinair has lost to. He's fought a few others. Munita and Kamikawa, you said, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's not the most at attractive fight because they're most of the time, they are only fighting for their grip, solve it, get to grip again. <laughs> Chichinoe has got three penalties already. Mm. <laughs> they keep looking as though they're going to attempt an Ichimata, and then at last one does. Arazawa. But poor old Chichinoe has got a jacket over his head. He can't really do anything from there. It's so unfortunate. The guy couldn't do anything. He had the jacket over his head. Give him a break. Give him three penalties already. That's he hard. He couldn't do anything. What's the point? And you've given him three penalties in 2.13. It, it, it's unfortunate that he's got the jacket over his head. He can hardly do anything. Just let that one go. Yeah, give us, a, give us 20 more seconds or something, you know? Yes. 